Hi, welcome to video number five called Adjusting Properties of a Shapefile. In the last few videos, we learned how to make a shapefile that we called lakes, and then we learned how to edit it. We drew new polygons or features that represented each lake, and learned how to assign unique IDs and names to them. Now what we'd like to do is display each of those lakes as a different color or a different pattern ultimately may be working towards the goal of making a map that shows these lakes. So in this video, we're going to learn how to navigate the properties menu of a shapefile. We're going to learn how to assign color schemes to a shapefile. And we're going to learn how to adjust the transparency of a shapefile. So here we go. I'm going to go back to the project we've been working on. Here's our image of Middlebury. And you can see down here. Uh, these three lakes traced in green, that's Lake Dunmore, Mud Lake, and Silver Lake. And what I'd like to do is, instead of displaying these as a green hollow outline, I'd like to display them as maybe blue for water. So to do that, I need to adjust the properties of the shapefile. The easiest way is to go up, right click on the shapefile you're interested in, go to Properties, and you can see right off the bat, there's a whole bunch of different tabs here. And they all do a bunch of different things. One of the important tabs is called the Source tab. This lets you see basic information about your shapefile. What's its extent? What type of, of shapefile is it? It's a polygon. Also, you can see the coordinate system that it's in. If we go over here to the Symbology tab, this is the one that's going to let us change the color pattern of the, the shapefile. And you get a few different options, which you basically can pick over here. The default option is Features, and it basically will display all the features in your shapefile as the same color. So all the lakes are currently outlined in green. So if I just want to simply change them all to be blue, I can just double click here. Maybe I'll even choose the lake setting and hit OK. And one of the nice things is I can hit Apply, and it will preview what that looks like for me. But suppose you wanted to show these lakes as being uh, different colors. Now I'll go to Categories. This option lets us display each lake as a different color. Effectively, it will take the ID number or the name of each lake and assign that to a unique color. Okay, So to choose which attribute you want to use to assign the colors, you can look under this heading, Value Field. There's two options. There's ID, which was the numerical values we assigned, and then there's Lake Name. For simplicity, why don't we use Name? And then I'm going to go down and hit Add All Values. And you can see here it added the three lakes that we created. It defaulted to this color scheme. If you want to change that, you can go to Color Ramp, maybe pick something a little more lake-like, like all these blues. And that will show each lake as a slightly different color of blue. I'll hit Apply. And you can see now the three lakes are different colors. You can also customize this, of course. Double click on the panel. And I could choose to make Lake Dunmore a bright neon blue. And I can choose to give it a bright yellow background. And just hit OK. So now I've got a case where Dunmore looks freakishly teal, <laughs> and the other lakes look purple. So going back into Properties now, I can show you how to make lakes partially transparent. And it's useful to make things transparent if you want to overlay them above some other feature. To do that, go to Display, and you'll see Transparent here. I'm going to set this to 60% Transparent, and hit OK. And now you can see if we zoom in, you can see the shape file itself is actually see-through, and I can actually see some of the texture underneath in the actual Landsat image. And that's a nice way to draw the user's attention to something while still being able to see the details underneath. Tune in for our next video, number six, 
in which we'll learn how to export a map.